Next question is from Jameson Doug. Can you talk about salt? Is it good or bad? Oh, Sal loves some salt. Yeah, you know what? I, first, guy, salty. first, yeah, first guy I ever met that used to carry salt in his purse. You know, uh, everywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> first guy you had a purse. His purse. <laughs> you know, okay. So you this this is when I would talk to clients about um, salt. I mean, you would be shocked at how much of your sodium comes from processed foods. Yeah. If you reduce your processed food consumption or uh, largely eliminate it. You can salt the hell out of your food. Look this up, Doug, for me. Sorry, Sally. No problem. You, but I, I want to highlight what you're talking about because there used to be this great article that I used to share. It was look at like um, one fast food, how much salt is in one fast food uh, meal comparison, something like that, Doug. Because I, I used to share this with clients to get to give this perspective that you're talking about right now. Like, you eat out one time in a week, and it's like more than your salt intake that you it's take like three eat. days worth of something. right. And then you flip that. It takes somebody who eats only whole foods. You could salt the shit out of every single meal and never catch up to like you the, wouldn't even come close. You yeah, couldn't yeah. put you. You would be gross if I salted my my whole natural foods the same way that processed. It wouldn't taste good. Mm -hmm. um, so it's processed food is where you start to get an issue um, with too much sodium. And really, this is only for people who have high blood pressure. Here's the interesting thing. We've demonized salt way too much. Studies actually show that people who eat too little salt have worse health outcomes than people who eat a little too much salt. Mm -hmm. If you're an athlete, this is a big it's deal. It's a performance enhancement big for time, athletes. Big time. In fact, I used to tell my endurance athletes to take a small pinch of sea salt and put it in the water while they were running or doing their endurance sport, and they would notice performance benefits. If you're a low-carb dieter, salt is very important. In fact, sometimes when people feel foggy from going low carb or from fasting. It's not necessarily a lack of carbs or calories. It's the fact that their sodium is low. Throw some soda, some salt on your food and then you know see how you feel. But that's really the big thing. If you eat whole natural foods, you pretty much don't have to worry about it. That's how I that's mm -hmm. how I tell clients to keep it simple, right? Instead of trying to measure and figure out exactly how many milligrams of sodium that you should have. It's like if you're eating whole foods, enjoy your seasoning. That's what I said. You know, you mm -hmm. season it how you want, salt it how you want, enjoy it if it's whole foods. And if it's processed foods, pay attention to how much you're you're consuming. That the article Doug pulled up, it's not the one I was looking for, but it says you know one meal of like a processed food like that is got more salt than six times a, a regular meal. Yep. So you figure you eat one, you eat you know six meals that are whole foods, and it's going to have less than one one meal that's processed. So you got to that's where you just have to watch out for is how much are you eating out. Right now, I, I would like your to, to hear what you say because you probably managed your sodium more. Definitely. I don't say probably. You definitely managed your sodium more um, than I ever did because you competed. What was that like? Well, so I did it different than well, a lot of competitors. In fact, there's, uh, and I like, again, shout out to Nate, Lane. This is another thing that, uh, how I found Lane. I was like researching this for myself, like when I was first getting into competing and trying to figure out like, I remember hearing about the, this common practice that competitors would really start to reduce uh, their calories, their carb intake, and their sodium intake and water heading in. I was like, God, that just sounds like a recipe for like death. <laughs> you know, like that doesn't yeah. sound smart at all, what you could potentially be doing. And the deeper I read into it, the, the more that I found that it was a lot of bro science, this idea of pulling all this sodium out of your body before you go into, in fact, it's probably counterproductive. And so I didn't do that. What I did was load during my prep and then went down to a normal amount when I got into peak week. Mm. So I got my body used to pushing X amount of, and I don't remember what the milligrams were off the top of my head. I first measured, found where my normal was. And then all I did was add like two dill pickles a day. So like I use dill pickles to uh, to shoot the sodium up. Oh, that's smart because mm -hmm. you're not really getting any calories. Or right, and exactly. So and then I liked them like because I was dieting, so it was like something I could mm -hmm. snack on. So I would add I would add pickles into the diet, do my and I would season my food all normal, and then as I got into my my final weeks, I would remove the dill pickles and stuff and pull down, and that was enough to reduce the sodium limit. But I was still getting enough sodium uh, that I think was healthy. Um, but yeah, there's this there's this myth around competitors needing to pull because salt pairs with water. So the theory is this, is that if you have all this so salt and sodium in your body and you're drinking all this water, that the water pairs with the the salt and it, it lies between your skin and muscle and gives you this kind of like watery or flat or bloated look. But if you've taught your body to flush that out it'll it flushes it out within hours and mm -hmm. for certainly in a day so there's you shouldn't be stressing about that and so what i would do is teach my body to have 
more sodium, more water. Because it regulates mm-hmm. it. Exactly. So then it would adapt to that new level. And then when I pulled it, then I knew I would really pull it all out. And then I also was not in fear of like being like super low in water and super low in sodium. Mm-hmm. So we all don't need to uh, convert to flavor God. <laughs> yeah. That, oh my yeah, God. Yeah. No, that's, you know, so. Yeah, like businesses popped up because of that. Yeah, uh, no, that's a myth. great, that's a great point. And that companies like that, and I think that's ridiculous. I mean, competitors that I was uh, coaching, they would ask about stuff like Flavor God that became really popular when I was competing that brand. And it's a, you know, it's a, one of those seasoning, z- zero sodium yep. seasoning uh, flavored things and everybody loved them. You know what? I will say this, of all of the things that you need to be careful for from processed foods, the sodium is actually probably down the list, to be mm. quite honest. That's how not big of a deal sodium is for most people. The only people that should be careful with sodium are people who have uh, high blood pressure issues and the doctor literally has ordered you to reduce Reduce, your sodium intake, in which case you probably have a poor diet uh, to begin with. And and, and and getting leaner would probably solve some of that. And to the point of that, many times that's because somebody's got a heavily processed food diet. If Mm -hmm. that same person did not not salt their food and just switched from eating McDonald's every other day right. to eating you know a, a salty steak, they would be fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's that the, the doctor, what the doctor sees is that they're through the roof right there. Tell this person to cut their salt out. And so those people think, oh, I gotta, I'm going to stop using table salt on my food. And it's like, that's not where you're getting- still eating the burgers. Yeah, you're getting yeah. like to the article that Doug pulled up. You're, get, you're eating one meal out that's equivalent to six meals uh, of, of whole food meals as far as I sodium. mean, they add soda to everything, like uh, instant oatmeal. You don't, you know, you, you, oatmeal isn't salty, right? Look at instant oatmeal. Added so added sodium to anything that's so, processed. So yeah, and that's something a good point too, right? So like uh, even Chipotle, places that are considered like healthy fast food, you got to be careful of that. Any any restaurant that you go to is loads are full of uh, food of sodium, so it, it preserves the food longer. Mm-hmm. So they they do that, right? So you can so they can keep it out, you know, for longer and for more days, so they can serve it and make money off of it. So. Just because you're going to a, a healthy restaurant or a healthy fast food place doesn't mean that it's not loaded full of sodium. No, make too, the so food you, yourself. You're fine. Yep.